hello long time no see well i'm back and i'm back because it's time for a relaxer update i don't even know i've been using mazani i think this is going to be my fifth relaxer if not i'll put it at the bottom of the screen but y'all know i've been using mazani butter blend the mild formula well this relaxer is about out and I knew it. I pushed it the last time and I had, you know, more than enough to relax my hair. I think that's my fourth time using it. And I have this much left. Oh, you, I can see with the light. It's about this much. And I don't think that's enough to, um, you can see. I don't think that's enough to relax my hair. I was hoping it was, but I I just couldn't press it. And I paid $20.99 um, for this container and to last four relaxers. That's really good. Well, I sent my husband to repurchase this um, at the store I got it from. And when he went in the store, he could not find it. And he was calling me on the phone like, babe, hey, I think you should try this one. Or, babe, look it up. Um, you know, you might want to try. And I'm thinking, I think mean, this is my personality. I want the relaxer I want. <laughs> you trying to talk me to a relaxer that I got to look it up? I mean, this is a chemical. I'll just do that. I'm like, babe, <clears throat> babe, if you don't see it, it's no big deal. Just come on out. <laughs> just, come, just come out, baby, because... Like, I got to look up, research. Oh, what about this? What about that? This is a chemical. I'm like, baby, just come on out. It's it's no big deal. And, okay, so he came on out. And let's see. Let me try another one that day. Then we had to squash it that day. And then another day, he went looking for some. My, um... My littlest one had some symptoms going on, so I couldn't go. And he was out on the way from work. Okay, you you don't look again. In fact, I had already put a picture, sent him a picture in his phone. This time he had this, you know, rolling with him in the vehicle. Um, and so he had this, he took it in the store with him. And he was like, babe, um, they told him what aisle to go on. He like, babe, the, the, um, it, it was like an Asian place. And I really like, I really like this place. This place is Beauty Masters. Um, they in, in, in Georgia, in Atlanta. Um, he said they called the distributor, whoever you call it. Because it's called... I have a couple of hair places. They've called um, the actual company for me before um, with Design Essentials. So they called a the distributor from Mazzani and they said they changed. They changed the labels. My husband had said that on the phone one time, baby. You know, they probably done changed the labels, baby. I'm trying to explain to you. It's like, just come out. <laughs> so anyway, they undoubtedly changed the labels, y'all. And you know, when my husband started explaining this to me, it was kind of like, what you mean? Because something my husband was telling me in the phone that they have fine slash color tree to relax. And he already told me the other story. I think that's the one you should get, baby. I said, baby, I don't want fine color treated. I don't have fine, fine color treated hair. I don't want that, baby. And you know, the distributor said now they have my color treated and what's the other one my husband oh i i i looked it up on the spot because when i went to mazani website they said we're back like they went somewhere <laughs> and now we're back with and it was like two things that they said they had okay okay thank you holy spirit they had fine color treated and on the website, they said they had something called medium slash normal, normal slash medium. And I do remember my husband saying in the phone, yeah, baby, they got medium. And it's like, I don't want that. Now, my husband said he did see a course. 
I don't know if the course is in an older container or a newer container, um, but on, on Mazzani's website, it was just only two. It was five color treated and it was medium slash normal. So we went back and forth, me and my husband. I don't want fine color. I don't have fine hair. Mama hair is more fine. I don't want fine. Okay, baby. Well, wait a minute. I don't know. Should I get normal? Should I get medium? I do want my hair straight. My hair, um, my hair is straightened now, but uh, I don't know. It's just sometimes I feel like my hair is on the skirts of being natural more so than being relaxed. And I, I mean, I actually enjoy a relaxer. This is not a good time to tell. Hold on, sweet pea, mommy doing a video. This is not a good time to tell because I, my hair has been straightened. But sometimes I can look at my hair and I'm in a mirror and I'm taking a picture. And then when I kind of look at my hair, it looks textured. Well, don't get me wrong, I under-process my hair so it should look textured, but I guess I'm going for a texture look when I want a texture look. But when I look in the mirror, I, I guess I'm not feeling looking in the mirror and just seeing texture. Unless I'm rocking a style that kind of goes with it. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do, baby. We on the phone. I said, I'm going to get medium slash normal. And I'm going to run it all the way through the ends of my hair. So I can get a straighter look. Because it's what that's what it said on that website. It said on the website for normal slash medium, that's for ones wanting to have smoother hair. And I really want smoother hair. So I went back and forth. Get this, get that, get this. I said, what you think, baby? He said, baby, I think you should get the fine color treated. So anyway, I, I got it. And, you know, um, these sizes look different to me. But, yeah, he said they were the same exact size. Now, Beauty Masters, I didn't buy this one at Beauty Masters, even though Beauty Masters did sell it at the time. But Beauty Masters, this was $26. So it's a little more at Beauty Masters. No, I didn't like paying the extra $6, but... I know it was a little more than Beauty Masters, but I'm I'm contemplating. I'm, I'm sure this will take about four four uses. I'm contemplating at the end of this, um, possibly getting the normal to medium one and working it all the way through the ends of my hair, so my hair won't be as textured. You know how my hair looks, y'all. If not, um. I put a clip in when it's wet. Oh, I um trim my hair myself. Um, one day I just straighten it. I don't put a clip in and kind of show you how my ends were looking. I just trimmed them. Did I have a hair I trimmed? This is the hair I trim. I don't feel like it, it was that much. I'm like, that's all? <laughs> I mean, I kind of wanted to be more because as I was straightening my hair, it looked, it looked ratty, you know? And so I know it's time for a trim. Something I'm thinking about, y'all, um, I've been working on my health, and I'm thinking about it towards the end of this year, give me a nice bob, kind of right here. I, you know, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> my husband was like, you do, you thinking about doing what? And I just was going over a lot of my older pictures. I, you know, from time to time I do. I want some layers. Um, yeah, I want some layers. So, I see. I'm working on my weight. And as I get down a little more, you know, you want a new, you want a new look. You want a new you want new hair, hair, haircut, something. So something like this and some layers up in here, I think would be so gorgeous. I'm not ready just yet. 
And I tell my husband, I'm not ready in the summer. It's hot. So my hair is straight. But when I get the feeling some kind of way, and we out and about, I can just do that. And it's, it, it's helpful because, as y'all remember the last couple of summers, my hair get wet and, and start sweating in, in my scalp. So um, anyway, y'all, I'm about to relax my hair. I'm going to come back. I'm not going to do it on camera just because... Um, not today. I wanted to, but not today. Um, and I'm going to tell you all what I think about this. Um, I'm going to come back and tell you all, do I notice a difference between this and this? Yes, I looked at the ingredients. Yes, they do look a little different. On this container, it says, Beloved Original Formula. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I struggle with this. I struggle with using the one I've been using for years. My mom's been complaining about her hair because she feel like her hair is too textured. Um, and so the way I relax both our hair, I just don't leave our relaxer in as long. I don't know if they, you know, doing something in the formulas or the relaxers anymore. I know I don't leave mine in as long. Um, I let mom sit with the relaxing her hair for, you know, longer than I generally do. But she still complains about the texture in her hair. Um, you know, saying that mama just want her bones straight up, you know. And I've, I've been struggling with that feeling too. I want the joy of having a relaxer when I look in the mirror. But it's like, okay, so what you want, bone straight? you know hair is like this you kind of want to sometimes you want to switch it up so i'll be back y'all tell y'all what i think but i'm looking forward to some layers just let y'all know i'll be back not the best angle i just rinsed the um relaxer out i don't feel that it's out <laughs> it was kind of um really thick yeah i feel like it's thick there yeah, yeah it's really thick and it's kind of hard because i got some gray edges but um it was really thick it's really thick to um to rinse out i really went in and smoothed it this time and um uh, this is how my hair tends to look y'all very texture, very curly, wavy, whatever you want to call it. And so, let me finish rinsing this out. I, I kept it in about 21, 22 minutes. I kind of want to keep it in a while. What's a while? Maybe 25. Sometimes I've done that with the butter blends with this other, this mild formula, kind of by mistake. And, um, you know, and it was fine. I only experienced uh, tingling, and that's probably why I didn't wait. I experienced a tingle. I have a bump. It's actually not in my head, which is, may sound crazy you all, if I can kind of turn around. The bump is, I don't know if, if it would even pick up on camera, but it's right below my nape, like a pinch below my nape. And it was like a little bump. The last couple of days in the heat, I could feel it itching. And it's like, ooh, I better not scratch that. Because I've had another one of those when it was time for a relaxer. When it's time for a relaxer, guys. My whole everything itch. My face itch. I mean, it's just my scalp. And it's just like, I'm not comfortable. I'm not, you know, that itching doesn't go away until it's time for, you know, till I do the relaxer. So, um, I think I am 10 weeks as of yesterday. If it's different, I'll put it in the bottom of the screen. But that's why a lot of times right before 10 weeks, like 9 weeks, and a day, nine weeks and three days. That's what I generally relax. I like the limit to be up to 10 because at 10, that's when I um I start noticing shedding. 
Got to go, make it a mess. Hey guys, I'm back. I shampooed my hair with um, Old Faithful Neutralizing Shampoo Plus Conditioner by ISO Plus. It's always like a buck and something. Sometimes I get fancy and get another shampoo, um, neutralizing shampoo, but for the most part, I try to get this. I always go back to this. It's affordable especially after buying a 20 and 26 dollar relaxer um and then i use the stabilizer plus as y'all if y'all as y'all know if you checked out any of my old videos i use this every single relaxer that's next i've already done that in fact i just rinsed it out and this comes next this is at the end so i'm gonna get the little drippy drops out of this but this is the restore restore by design essentials um vitamin treatment and I use this and I'm expecting an important call um so look at my hair and so I'm gonna kind of just keep this in and start working on um dinner for the next few days getting some chicken prepped um and so I have a cap in my head with this in it um and so I, I really i really love this this is like twelve dollars and 99 cent twelve dollars and 99 cent i really absolutely love this hey y'all i am back and hold on sweetie i'm on a video <laughs> um i have been deep conditioning my hair for how long? Do, 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 do. I had to go to Mama them house. Um, I had to go with Mama them house. I don't know. I don't know how long, y'all. Had to run an errand. Was in the middle of hair day. I know I possibly had to go. Um, I knew I was gonna go with a cap with my trusty dust, trusty dusty friend, and here and let me tell you what i decondition with l'oreal ever slick sulfate free reparative smoothing condition i've never used this before but i got this at tj maxx the other day and it was on clearance for four dollars i think it was regularly 4.99 don't quote me but i they sell this like at walmart you know any stores like that target walgreens i've seen it i've been looking at it but I really haven't been buying products muchly um, unless it's on a need-to-need -need basis and if it's on clearance and it's a really good price. I picked this up anyway. Um, I wasn't sure, wasn't sure, wasn't sure, wasn't sure. It says for over-processed hair, it's silicone free. It's 48-hour frizz control, natural botanicas and oils. I can't promise you I read it that much before I bought it because I didn't. I just read over-processed hair. My hair is not over processed actually it's um under processed but i was thinking mm, it's probably going to be moisturizing that's just me thinking like that um i guess i kind of didn't realize it was sulfate free i'm not a person that necessarily goes for that um maybe on my daughters but nothing has to be that with them like it's saying it's paraben free but it's like I, I don't necessarily get something that has to be geared that way and what did I read about this? I'm glad I eventually read it, but I didn't read it before I bought it. It says, shoo, 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 safe for chemically, chem, chemically straining hair. Well, I'm glad I read that, but this would have been something to read before I bought it and to read before I put it in my hair. I mean, it was in my hair and I read this after the fact. I'll let you all know what I think about it. Um, it's 100% vegan. So, and it's supposed to not weigh your hair down. I kind of don't care about that because I know it's a lot of people that do. They want something that doesn't weigh their hair down because, you know, but for me and my hair type um, and how bushy it feels because it's under process, I don't, I, I, like, bring me something <laughs> that'll weigh my hair down because it really doesn't weigh my hair down. It just kind of helps me in the department of detangling and it helps me in the department of moisturizing my hair 
So this is supposed to be weightless. This weightlessly smooths hair for 48 hour frizz control. And it's with argon, sunflower, and olive oils. We'll see. They say it doesn't have any harsh silicones and harsh sulfates. And it's gentle. So if you're into that, I guess you'll like that. I'm not saying I'm into it, but I'll let y'all know. My hair feels good. And I mean, I usually would have got out in the steamer, but I already have a steam effect with the bag. And like I said, I've kind of been under here for a minute. So I'll be back. This is how my hair looks with the conditioner rinsed out. I'm about to um put a rinse in my hair now. Oh. Smelling this conditioner smells. I'm gonna say earthy. It smells <laughs> natural. <laughs> I don't know, vegetable vegetable. <sighs> so what am I about to do now? My rinse. This is the rinse I use. What is it? Dark warm brown. And I do get tired of putting it right here on my little edge, just right here. And I do kind of color it sometimes. And, but it really needs to probably be touched up every other shampoo. But I don't do it every other shampoo. Just don't feel like doing it. I love my edges. Right in here. I used to use a brown kind of color. Well, it was a lighter brown. But when it starts, when it started fading, it started looking too yellowy, and I didn't like that. So I found with this darker color, it doesn't look as yellow. But honestly, y'all, I wish it stayed longer. Some people been talking about Hannah. I don't know much about Hannah, but I would just put, I'm gonna research it a little bit more. Just wanna put just a little bit and wanted to just stay a bit longer. I, you know, I don't want to pull this out every time. I should have already used it after another step and I didn't. So I'm gonna put this in, let this stand for about 30 minutes and then do a moisturizing um, rinse out conditioner, Aussie Moist. I think it's the three minute miracle. And just, you know, put it in, rinse it out behind this. Just so I wanted this to be my last step. I would have put this step in already, but I knew I had to go to mama house and I didn't want to go to her house with this and I didn't know how long I would end up being there. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have um, shampooed or no, I just rinsed the color out. And while I was still had my head in the tub, I put some of this in. This is the IC Three Minute Miracle Moist. I left it on, I don't know, maybe two minutes while I was just in the tub. And I rinsed it out. And it's a wrap, folks. It is a wrap. Let's see how my hair looks. It's a wrap. 
Hello, I'm back. And um, this is my hair. I um, flat ironed it. Thought about trimming some of it. Trim the back. But um, I just did it completely straight. And then basically I took these two halves and this is just something I do sometimes and basically do it like that. Give it time to lock in and just take it on down. I have to really work to get this um part out the back of it, but this is something I do. Um I alternate between this and wand curl. But um, this is my hair. I'm pleased with the relaxer. I left it in, I believe, 20, 21 minutes. And I am pleased with it. <laughs> Something I noticed when I was um, flat ironing my hair, I was, I was noticing every time I got to the scalp, like it felt real sensitive. Like, baby, you don't have to hold the heat this close to your scalp now something i did today on my flat iron i have this one i get from sally's and it's not said to tell you what the temperature is even though i know it goes up to four something but it ha it has like the nomination i think a five or something like that i never t turn it to the highest temperature but i did today I turned it to the highest temperature and every time I was near my scalp it felt so hot <laughs> just like unusually hot but I wanted to turn it on the highest temperature um, because it's, it's raining every day here and it's a storm symbol on the forecast I'm in Georgia it's humid and I figured the hotter I can get it, um, you know, nobody wants to curl their hair and they step outside and it's a, you know, it's a big frizz mess the next day. I am willing to, um, you know, pin it up to save my hair, save a hairstyle, but, um, and then start back wearing it like this. Let me show you what I put in it to um, curl it, well, not curl it, flat iron it. I use my red can smooth down, heat fly, love it. And what I even do, I put a little of this on the ends. This is a protective smooth, smoother for very dry slash unruly hair. And uh, let's see, provides heat safe control, detains frizz on even the most rebellious hair. And it says apply one or two pumps evenly to towel dried hair, blow dry for maximum results. Reapply one pump to lengths to lengths and ends to time freezes. I um basically just um when I did my hair, I just you know when I came came to style it. Something I've been doing the last three wash days, I just Put whatever style of products I'm gonna put on it, um, water, some kind of setting lotion, and I might do the Alpha G Green Chi Restructor. Didn't do that this time, but those are the things I can put. Um, Extreme Anti Snap, I love that. Just bought a brand new one because I used my other one up. Um, so I put those things on and just put my hand in twist and I let it dry under a dryer. And that's what I've been doing. My dry time has been shorter like that. And what I've been doing, after it dries, I go and get it and I take the twist on loose and just, you know, start flat ironing. I may flat iron it and then next I may wind curl it. I may flat iron it and do it like I did today. Just part it down the middle and just, you know, I do these waves. Now the thing about these waves co compared to uh, wine curls. Wine curls really last. I really like wine curls. Um, these don't last the same. By the end of the day, these get looser 
and looser. My hair won't have this, you know, straight look like that, but it'll have more of a a bushier look. You know, but I do I do appreciate one curls more than this because this doesn't hold the same way. I mean it's holding now, but you step in an element, you get in a building or something like that. You know. But I'm pleased with the um relaxer. It's kinda interesting how they change it and whatnot, but I'm gonna use it all the way out and I'm gonna report back to you guys. Um, with the updates to let you know how I'm feeling it. Here's my hair.